Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. Let's check in, look at last night's sleep research, see how things have went, and continue Entei research. Excellent. Full 100 sleep score, just about same as last night, which is two minutes difference. Alright, so we got some slumbering sleep, but predominantly <laughs> snoozing and dozing, but I think dozing wins out, surely because it's just more than I typically get. Even though it is closer to the start of the week, starting at Ultra 4 really does help get that leg up. 23 million drowsy power. Full grouping. Let's see who showed up. Alright, so we've got Ghastly, Ekans, Vulpix, so at least one fire type. That's good. We got Rilu hanging out there in the corner. Oh, another Vulpix. Nice. Uh, Swalot. Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Oh man. Oh, that was an accidental tap there. So, no new sleep styles today, it looks like. But, definitely some good choices to be able to work from. And, yeah, thankfully two fire types, so that's at least better than the last couple of days. Who's hungry? That tracks. I do have to give out biscuits again, so... Our hungry Pokemon will definitely at least get something. But I'm still looking for a good Vulpix, so we'll uh, carry on with that. The gift for today... Dream Cluster, alright. Just the hungry hits are fine by me. Some of this is just slow and steady progress, and then eventually one of them will get taken home. So yeah, still trying to take Ivysaur home, but just the regular hit there. <clears throat> All right. I'm just happy that there's something that I can actually like. Yeah, this is something I do want to invest biscuits in. Last couple of days has just been like, yeah, there's something, but it's not what I want. And a couple biscuits in and it's full. So I'm at that track. At least now it's set up that the next time it shows up, if it's the only one, I can just prioritize that. But that takes care of our hungry Pokemon. We've handed out a couple of extra biscuits. So I'm good with leaving things where they are for right now. Share out some more of that Bulbix candy. 51 mains from today's research. So that's at least a better sizable chunk. And a couple thousand dream shards. Helps to replenish some that were used yesterday in the leveling and just grinding up the team power. 
lacks nature. And it's got berry finding S. All right, let's take a look. We've got a good mix of ingredients. So it's definitely got a good blend. Berry finding S, inventory up, skill level up, ingredient finder, and helping speed. With energy recovery up. It does have helping speed, it's just way far at the end, but I think with just having the Berry Finding S in the 10 slot, it's probably going to be the best one that I've got so far. And the energy recovery nature, I'm not so worried, like, having its main skill trigger is good, but... It's to a random Pokemon on the team, so it's not even necessarily refueling itself. So it's good when it triggers, but it's just kind of a nice to have rather than a need to have. But that's good. It's better than what I've had thus far. So that feels good. Plug it into the calculator later and see how that turns out. Thinking somewhere in like the 70s, somewhere around those lines. Maybe 80s, just because it does eventually does have the uh, helping speed. Some sneaky snacking from the night before, putting us over into Master 4. Some additional apples. Which are good. I need to cook with those this week. Okay, no additional missions completed. 200 sleep points. <laughs> Got three days until it updates, so I'll swing back later. I'm not in a rush to get those right now. Oh, let's see. No additional news. I suspect we'll be hearing something in the next couple of days, maybe later today, maybe later on this week, just as Entei winds down, because we don't have anything planned or anything else to specifically look forward to other than good sleep day. So there is some room for some fun things to drop in the near future. Community. 46 reports. Alright. That's great to see. And 17 mains as a result. Almost exclusively coming from level 5 friends. <laughs> but this is a good opportunity. Because I did say last week that I was going to do this. I'm going to check in on my friends. Alright. Everyone's been checking in regularly. Good job. Okay. All right. Nearly ten thousand strength, just <laughs> I forgot with their leveled up skills, they just like are absolute beasts. Good job, Dedenne. Just keep that extra tasty. Keep that percentage going up. It's been triggering almost every time I've clicked on it. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. So yeah, we're at 12% now. So the last three times that I've selected it. That's good, giving us a good additional extra percentage. Let's see how we're doing on ingredients. Still got enough for it. As long as I've got like the next cook, it gives enough of a leeway. So we got enough apples. Got enough corn. And definitely enough honey.
and just slowly whittling down various ingredients just to evenly distribute everything. You know, some high-end ingredients, some lower-end ingredients. <coughs> we continue to push the 12% extra tasty. Definitely will level up next time, so getting into the 50s, so it's getting nice and strong. And we go into Master 5. Continue to rank up. Alright. So we get another 40 mains from Master 5, so that takes care of our... Rank requirements for the week. Still got some more cooking to do. Berries I'm not worried about. Biscuits were a little bit below halfway, but this is a good pace. Today definitely helped make a dent because it's there's only a couple, you know. Oh, and stick to bedtime and cook. So <coughs> excuse me. Doing pretty good. So 201 mains currently, which means I can get that biscuit. Now, this may be the last Entei that uh, I get to check, so... In order to hedge that bet, because it's going to be a little bit... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to dry throat this morning. Right now I'm getting one guaranteed hungry Pokemon from the good camp ticket. I really want to make sure that I can take that Entei home if it does. So I'm going to use the Friend Incense and really just double down on this to make sure that if it shows up, I've got at least two slots instead of just one. That should guarantee a hungry Pokemon. So then... What that means for the rest of this week is I'm just going to continue to stockpile mains. If I don't end up being able to take Entei home tomorrow, as a result, I will have to leave that extra buffer of 160 biscuits. But if I do end up taking it home, regardless of whether it's good or not, the rest of it was just going to go exclusively to getting the rest of those biscuits. Because those will just convert to great biscuits, and I'm happy to take home some free great biscuits. And then any of like the odd numbered stuff, because um, everything else is relatively like pretty heavily priced. <clears throat> Definitely some handy candies. Leveling up is always good. I don't have any fire types specifically, so... Like, it's cool that there's... Yeah, because that's 120 each to buy the, both of those out entirely. But also some Entei candy. Like, that's probably where I'll end up cycling through the, the last of it. But that's the plan for tomorrow. So, stay tuned to see my luck with third ente hopefully third time's the charm that is what i have for today thank you so much for stopping by let me know how your week's going in the comments below and i'll see you back tomorrow for some more sleep research but until then sleep well